Are you investing way more on tactics than you are on marketing? Oh good, welcome to the 90%. I don't know why, I'm gonna tell. Here's the thing, everybody thinks that something like ads or having an online store or having a lead magnet is going to get them sales, but it's not. That's not marketing. You can't just have tactics and not marketing. And it's super important for me to break this down. So marketing is the idea of getting people from point A to point B. For example, with marketing, I'm talking about people that are in a current situation in their lives and they're trying to move to a desired result. That gap between those two things is marketing. Getting that gap closed, getting that person to Indiana Jones style swing across the chasm and take that bold leap into the future. That's marketing. But if you just have tactics, you're just dropping the rope or giving them a ladder, building a bridge. That's not marketing. And without marketing, you're not gonna get any sales. You need to have them both working. And what you need to have is a sales mechanism in order to do it. So what's a sales mechanism? A sales mechanism is something that you build into your marketing strategy that is designed to take a cold audience, people who have no idea who you are and no idea what your product is and moving them to customers. And it's closing that gap. Now, in order to do that, you need to have a sales mechanism. So a sales mechanism might be, for example, a webinar. If you wanna sell people into your course or program, you might have a webinar. And that webinar would be designed to build like, know, and trust, and then ultimately make an offer to work with you. And that does all the things necessary, in theory, if you do it well, to take people from a cold audience to a super, super hot audience. That's the sales mechanism that's in place. If you just said, hey, buy my program, that's not a sales mechanism. If you have a call, a sales call, that's the most simplest mechanism, almost from prehistoric times. Getting on the phone with somebody and saying, I'd like to make you an offer. After, you build rapport with them, they get to know you, they get to like you, and they get to trust you. That's a sales mechanism. A sales page that's very offer driven, describes the problem right on top, starts to build desire and empathy as we move through, sprinkle in testimonials, and then make an offer that is too good to refuse. That's a sales mechanism. It's designed to take a cold audience and turn it into a hot audience. If this is useful to you, if you're enjoying it so far, please hit that subscribe button. I give advice like this all the time. I love giving advice like this. And hit the like button so that more people see this video. I think a lot of people need to see this video. The problem in online business right now is there are so many people who are making promises about how amazing ads are and the amazing things that ads can do for you that we end up getting so invested in tactics. We think that tactics can fix it. Oh, if I just build a Shopify store, my problems will be solved. Oh, if I just put up some Facebook ads, my problems will be solved. But if you are not pairing them with a sales mechanism, you're gonna lose. That's marketing. You're missing marketing. So running ads without any marketing strategy is a really bad idea. And having an online store without a sales strategy is a really bad idea. Having a lead magnet that is not being used in any strategic way to move people through the funnel is not a sales mechanism. If you want to build a sales mechanism, the first thing that you do is think about where is most of my traffic coming from? That will help you understand the psychology. Chances are, if you're trying to scale this puppy, you are going after a cold audience. You're bringing in these people that have no idea who you are. So you brought in this cold audience and then you say, okay, how problem aware and how solution aware is my avatar? Then you need to figure out where people are at the problem and solution scale. So your avatar may say, yeah, I definitely know I have that problem. They instantaneously know it and they think about it all the time. So there are a nine or a 10 on that scale. But on the solution scale, they might be something more like a two. So they have a problem. They know they have the problem, but they have no idea that there's a solution out there. So what do you do? You build a sales mechanism that doesn't spend a ton of time talking about the problem and helping them convince them that they have it because they know they have the problem. They're aware, all too aware. What they don't understand is that there's a better way. So then you can make your sales mechanism more geared towards helping understand that there's a better way to it. And that's how you create a blue ocean. That is how you differentiate yourself from the competition. You create content around that. So if you're a coach, this could be a webinar. 
easy to get people in. You go with the problem, they know there's a problem, but you're highlighting the unique solution. If you're an online store, similar, but you probably aren't going for a webinar here because that would end up being way too expensive to move people through the funnel. So instead, your sales mechanism would be potentially a landing page, but this landing page doesn't spend as much time in problem mode. We spend our time in empathy mode. Hey, we understand what you're going through. And then we move relatively quickly to how new, interesting, unique, different what you have to offer is. And so that's how that sales mechanism will be structured. You've got to have one of these in your store. And then all the little tactics sprinkle about. So you run ads to get people in a certain type of audience and you have got your sales mechanism right here ready to receive that audience and turn them into customers. SMS just a tactic. Then you have email marketing. Again, it's a tactic, not a strategy. Move people through. Where are they coming from? Where they want to get to? What do they want to be? And that is the power of a sales mechanism. And I would go as far as to say, no business in the world should exist without a sales mechanism built into their online marketing strategy. Don't make that mistake and just use tactics. Now, if you have an online store, Here's a video here that will show you exactly what to do if you wanna steal one of my great strategies to create a sales mechanism inside your store that's iOS 14 proof. And if you wanna know how to create a video that has the potential to go viral, My Hero System is the best framework for this, and there's another video over there. I'll see you in the next one.